Welcome, bienvenue, ladies and gentlemen, to the European Day of Languages video show, paying tribute to excellence in language teaching and learning all over Europe. My name is Juliette, and I'm the lucky one who will be your host today. We are going to check out a range of exciting projects, putting languages in focus in all sectors of education. But before we embark on this journey together, it is my immense pleasure and honour to introduce to you the EU Commissioner for Innovation, Research, Culture, Education and Youth, Maria Gabrielle. The Commissioner is originally from Bulgaria, but I believe she will speak to us in French this time. Madame Gabrielle, à vous la parole. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. C'est un grand plaisir pour moi de vous présenter ce kaleidoscope de projets qui ont reçu le label européen des langues au fil des sept dernières années ou ont été financés via Erasmus+. Le multilinguisme fait partie des principes fondamentaux et de l'âme même de l'Union européenne. À travers ses politiques en faveur de l'éducation et de la culture, la Commission européenne soutient la diversité linguistique, cette richesse exceptionnelle qui s'inscrit pleinement dans notre patrimoine européen. J'y attache une énorme importance. Le programme Erasmus+, a soutenu plus de 19 000 projets, portant sur l'apprentissage et l'enseignement des langues, dans tous les secteurs de l'éducation, de la formation et de la jeunesse. Le label européen des langues est destiné à valoriser et à encourager davantage les initiatives innovantes dans ce domaine. Les projets que nous allons découvrir ensemble montrent à quel point le travail de l'apprentissage des langues est un processus tout au long de la vie. Il commence dès le plus jeune âge, à l'école maternelle et primaire, continue à s'approfondir dans l'école secondaire, accompagne la formation professionnelle pour continuer à l'université et accompagner même la formation des adultes. Nos États membres et les autres pays qui participent à la mise en œuvre de la Belle européenne des langues ont fait un travail tout à fait remarquable pour soutenir ces projets et je voudrais très sincèrement les féliciter. Il faut continuer afin de préserver notre richesse linguistique. D'une part, nous devons continuer à préserver les méthodes d'enseignement qui ont fait leur preuve et qui contribuent à notre excellence européenne. D'autre part, il faut enrichir le multilinguisme et l'apprentissage des langues en emparant des opportunités que nous offrent les nouvelles technologies. Ainsi, nous assurerons que la diversité linguistique ne reste pas simplement un beau principe, mais qu'il se traduise dans des idées et des projets concrets auxquels tous les citoyens européens peuvent être associés. Nous devons travailler pour avoir plus d'enseignants de langue excellents. À cela s'ajoute le défi de permettre aux élèves d'échanger avec leurs homologues à l'étranger, notamment grâce aux nouvelles technologies. Tout cela existe déjà dans le programme Erasmus+, qui s'achève à la fin de cette année 2020. À partir de 2021, le nouveau programme va continuer à vous soutenir, afin que vous puissiez porter davantage de projets linguistiques tout en vous aidant à mieux les valoriser. Je me réjouis de la collaboration continue avec tous ceux et toutes celles avec lesquels nous partageons la même passion pour les langues. Je tiens à vous remercier tous pour votre créativité, votre engagement et votre implication dans cette belle cause, le multilinguisme. Et je vous lance le défi de continuer à oser la diversité linguistique et par votre travail d'en inspirer d'autres. Merci. Merci, Madame Gabrielle, pour vos mots visionnaires et encourageants. Mesdames, Messieurs, la commissaire européenne nous a rappelé combien les compétences linguistiques sont au cœur de la vision ambitieuse de créer un espace européen de l'éducation. L'aptitude à parler des langues étrangères est une compétence nécessaire, non seulement pour étudier à l'étranger, mais aussi pour rivaliser sur des marchés de l'emploi de plus en plus internationaux. Language is also a question of equity and inclusion for people living, studying and working in a different country from the one they grew up in. Learning the language of their new host country can be a tremendous challenge. Without a good level of literacy and language competences, you may lose out on many opportunities in life and work. We have asked all participating countries to show us some of their best language projects over the past program period. By using innovative methods, great language teachers turn the language classrooms into exciting places. You will also see examples of projects that focus on linguistic diversity and the wider benefits of multilingualism. 
You will discover how languages can be combined with the learning of other subjects. Because education actually begins with language, and language is the beginning of all learning. So let's now visit some schools around Europe and discover what is going on. Digital tools have opened up lots of new possibilities for language teachers to bring languages to life and make learning interesting. Here are some inspiring examples. I teach in a very small school in the countryside. Our resources are limited. It's super important to bring in the world into our classroom and for us to come out in the world. And we need to make sure we make this journey possible. Imagine if they can learn from students in another country about their history or culture. Hi, we are a class in Jönslund School, Sweden. We would like to know. I hope they walk away from my classroom knowing that the world is much bigger than just this area that they can do things and that their voices are heard. Education is us learning together. You just have uh, devotion, passion, and a bit of creativity. <laughs> then, uh, I mean, there are endless possibilities. In 2017, we began to teach modern languages through remote learning at a rural secondary school called Hacka Centralskola in the very north of Sweden. Students from different schools can be taught at the same time in the same language lesson. The variation keeps our students motivated throughout the whole lesson. The students follow the language course and practice all the skills included such as writing, reading, listening and speaking. Our goal is to continue to develop and improve our working methods, to reach more pupils in sparsely populated areas and enabling them to learn languages by competent language teachers. Konkursil me esimest ideid me saame tegelikult ühe õpilase poolt, sest meil üsna palju kursusel õpivad õpetajad, kes õpivad ise, arenad oma keelt ja samas saavad uued ideid oma siis kursse jaoks. Ja siis üks nendest, kui ta oli kursis selle konkursega, siis ta ütles, et on selline võimalus, et kas ta ei soovi oma ideid siis esitada. Ja siis me võtsime, et võiks proovida. Let's keep alive the relationships between human beings. Let's keep alive the communication between us, especially in those rough times. Could you taxi bell as you believed? Have come good. Just with one click, you can discover a new world. The Emate app is suitable for learning, training, and teaching. Emate your virtual companion is European Union multilingualism activities throughout teamwork to carry out Erasmus vision. Sabine, Claudia, coming back to my first question, why would I do it? What are the benefits for my school? I would say there are lots of benefits for schools. First of all, there is this authentic opportunity to produce texts and also to edit texts in person's writing. Normally this is done for teaching purposes only. Now there is a real possibility and a real opportunity to publish texts. And publicity. There are authentic reasons to publish on the PAM platform. And additionally, you will have access to all these authentic texts and videos and the fantastic games and learning materials. Also, the teachers at your school will have texts in eight languages. I don't know how many languages are taught at your school. Eight languages, 
materials and teaching tips for teachers on the teacher's part um, for teachers. La pratique d'apprendre une langue étrangère par l'intermédiaire d'une autre discipline s'appelle en français « Emile », enseignement d'une matière intégrée à une langue étrangère. And in English, « CLIL », Content and Language Integrated Learning. Les méthodes ne sont pas toutes pareilles, mais l'idée fondamentale est que chaque enseignant a un rôle à jouer dans la maîtrise de la lecture et de l'écriture dans la langue de scolarisation, ainsi que dans les langues étrangères. La collaboration entre les enseignants en langue et les enseignants spécialistes d'une discipline est essentielle. CLIL stands for Content and Language Integrated Learning. For the last year and a half, we've been teaching transition years history and culture of France through French. We're currently taking part in the CLIL program. I like to get a better understanding of French history and culture. And obviously by the end of the year, we all want to be able to improve our French. And it wasn't really focused on grammar, and you didn't feel like a pressure to pronounce everything right. It was just really fun. Definitely fifth year French was less daunting when taking part in the CLIL module the previous year because we were immersed in more French. Merci pour la free. Thank you for the award. Discovering Science was initiated by College Jean Renoir in Paris and primary school set of language Micheleta in Bakistan. During the project, students did research on Nikola Tesla and Blue Renault, and they improved their knowledge in English, IT, maths, physics, and chemistry through different activities and workshops. They've learned how to think outside the box, accepting diversity, and with students' exchange, they had an opportunity to peek into another culture and fell in love with another way of living. Il y a des projets qui ont trouvé des liens entre l'apprentissage des langues, le développement durable et des visions pour un futur lointain. Il n'y a pas de limite de la créativité dans la salle de classe où les langues vivantes sont enseignées. Awareness of how culture affects communication is essential in all human interaction. Many projects seek to develop students' curiosity towards other cultures and languages or enhance their tolerance and positive attitude towards people who are different from the norm. Others aim to prepare students for study and work in different cultural settings and develop a broader view of what European identity means to foster responsible citizenship skills. Servus din Cluj-Napoca, orașul cosmopolit din inima Transilvaniei. Am spus cosmopolit deoarece aici au trăit și continuă să conviețuiască alături de români și alte etnii. Bogăția culturală și lingvistică a zonei a fost un punct de inspirație pentru călătoria noastră culturală Erasmus+. Plus. Astfel, am construit o poveste comună europeană, în care am găsit un fir roșu care leagă latinitatea românilor, a italienilor și a portughezilor. Elevii au preluat texte sub formă de basme, snoave, povestiri din folclorul național al fiecarei țări. Le-au rescris sub formă de scenariu, adaptându-l la realitățile lor contemporane. Iar apoi, în timpul unei mobilități de 5 zile, au pus în scenă o piesă de teatru originală și credem noi de fiecare dată una de mare succes. Verdala International School celebrates the diversity of the cultural backgrounds of its students. As a member of the Council of European International Schools, Verdala offers internationally accredited curriculum from pre-K levels up to an accredited IB program. Yeah,
Marino Daburi dotyczy zapobiegania i radzenia sobie z przemocą rówieśniczą w placówkach edukacyjnych. Warto podkreślić, że wielu uczniów, którzy zaangażowali się w projekt, uchodziło za niechętnych do współpracy. Wielu z nich sprawiało problemy wychowawcze. To przede wszystkim właśnie dla nich i o nich była ta praca. Projekt jest zdecydowanie uniwersalny. Można go przenosić do każdej placówki zmagającej się z problemem przemocy wśród rówieśników. Projekt powstał jako odpowiedź na zjawisko cyberprzemocy, która miała miejsce w naszej szkole. Ważne jest to, że go w całości oparliśmy o autentyczne doświadczenia naszych uczniów. Oni bardzo mocno zaangażowali się w realizację tego projektu. Dla mnie osobiście niezwykłym doświadczeniem było to, że przy jednych działaniach spotkały się zarówno ofiary, jak i sprawcy cyberprzemocy. To było naprawdę niesamowite doświadczenie. Cieľom projektu Erasmus Plus potlačenie a prevencia šikanovania na školách v Európe bolo vykoreniť tento závažný sociálno-patologický fenomén z prostredia škôl zapojených do projektu, ktorými boli školy zo Spojeného kráľovstva, Fínska, Portugalska, Maďarska, Turecka a hlavným koordinátorom bola škola z Nemecka. Le multilinguisme maintient le cerveau au top. En plus, la valorisation de la diversité linguistique est une question de justice sociale et d'inclusion. Il y a des écoles où des parents demandent aux enfants de ne plus parler la langue qu'ils utilisent à la maison une fois qu'ils ont franchi la porte de l'école. Ces enfants sont contraints de laisser derrière eux une composante essentielle de leur identité, ce qui aura une incidence négative sur leur confiance en eux, leur motivation et leurs résultats scolaires. Hallo, of in het Fries, Hagoeje. Mijn naam is Johanne Duarte en ik ben de projectleider van het 3M-project. Meer kennissen met meertaligheid. In dit project werken wij samen met 12 Friese basisscholen om een inclusieve benadering voor meertaligheid in het onderwijs te ontwikkelen, te implementeren en te evalueren waarbij alle in de klas aanwezige talen een rol in het onderwijs krijgen. En vorig jaar hebben wij met dit project het Europese talenlabel gewonnen, tweede prijs en publieksprijs. Mijn naam is Miriam Günther en ik ben als projectcoördinator en onderzoeker bij het 3M project betrokken. Ik ben onder andere verantwoordelijk voor de 3M Toolbox. In de 3M Toolbox staan alle door ons ontwikkelde meertalige activiteiten. Je kunt binnen de Toolbox navigeren en lesbrieven selecteren op les of project, op leeftijd, op kerndoelen en op vaardigheden. This project from Italy is about plurilingual education, tested and implemented in several primary and secondary schools. It uses all the languages of the children in the classroom as resources. A training course for teachers has been created based on this project. This project from Denmark, Wise Words, is aimed at informing pupils, parents, and teachers about the value of maintaining the language of origin as a personal treasure. It's a powerful testimony to the strength of multilingualism. Wise words. The youngest children in early childhood education and daycare can all become multilingual. It is just about finding the correct way of providing opportunities for that to happen. When they are preschool age, they are like sponges when it comes to language. So, we have just seen a lot of topics about language learning, digital tools, cultural diversity and many other subjects. Now let's hear from Mikhail Toch. Michael is head of the unit Schools and Multilingualism. Michael is originally from Germany, and to celebrate this special day, he is going to speak both Italian and German. Toccate parlare. Du bist dran. Buongiorno a tutti. Um, innanzitutto vorrei complimentarmi veramente con voi per il fantastico lavoro svolto. Veramente grandi complimenti a tutti i promotori di progetti 
e anche complimenti e grazie ai nostri partner delle agenzie nazionali del programma Erasmus e le altre istituzioni nazionali che hanno eh, promosso questo lavoro, che hanno sostenuto eh, questi progetti. Vorrei veramente dare un grande grazie a, sia ai promotori e sia alle agenzie eh, nazionali. L'insegnamento e l'apprendimento delle lingue costituisce una parte proprio molto importante, fondamentale del programma Erasmus e evidentemente noi auspichiamo anche che, che questi progetti eh, faranno anche una parte molto importante del nostro programma eh, futuro. Abbiamo anche un'idea di, di potenziare il label europeo delle lingue, come molti lo sapranno, che da 20 anni è proprio uno dei nostri progetti più importanti a far vedere la potenzialità di questo programma. Vorremmo rinforzare e rafforzare le condizioni già esistenti col programma Erasmus, in pratica vorremmo veramente che questo label sia utilizzato in tutti gli Stati membri dell'Unione Europea. Così avremo più di progetti e anche una comunità ancora più vasta, più attiva. Das Lernen und Unterrichten von Sprachen steht, wie wir von Frau Kommissarin Maria Gabriel gehört haben, wirklich im Zentrum unserer Ideen zur Entwicklung eines europäischen Bildungsraums. Also es passiert unglaublich viel. Und wir haben uns auch ein paar Ideen gemacht darüber, welche Prioritäten das europäische Sprachensiegel in den nächsten Jahren, in den Jahren 2021 und 2022, haben sollte bei der Auswahl von neuen Preisträgern und von neuen Projekten. Wir haben drei Prioritäten. Und die erste davon, bei der geht es um den Einsatz digitaler Methoden im Unterricht und im Sprachenlernen. Wir müssen die Möglichkeiten wirklich nutzen, um das Sprachenlernen zu unterstützen, sowohl das Lernen von Sprachen und das Unterrichten, aber auch Prüfung und Evaluierung. Wir haben die Bedeutung dieser digitalen Methoden ja gerade dieses Jahr im Jahr 2020 besonders erlebt, aufgrund der Corona-Krise. Die zweite Priorität und ein zweiter Punkt, der für uns ganz wichtig ist, ist Sprachen als Mittel zur Förderung von Chancengleichheit, Bildungsgerechtigkeit, sozialem Zusammenhalt und bürgerschaftlichem Engagement. Dritter und letzter Punkt. Last but wirklich überhaupt nicht liest, die Lehrerinnen und Lehrer im Sprachenunterricht. Wir wissen, dass, dass es viele, viele Mitgliedstaaten in der Europäischen Union gibt, die zu wenige gut ausgebildete Sprachlehrer und Lehrerinnen haben. Und wir hoffen wirklich auch Projekte auszeichnen zu können, die sich darum kümmern, die es schaffen, wirklich eine gute Aus- und Fortbildung und eine Attraktivität dieses Berufs und für viele für diese Berufung auch äh, sichtbar äh, zu machen. Der Europäische Tag der Sprachen ist Ihr Tag. Ähm, heute feiern wir zusammen die Mehrsprachigkeit Europas. Ähm, es ist wirklich ein sehr, sehr toller Tag. Wir freuen uns alle hier zusammen feiern zu können. Äh, heute feiern wir und morgen lassen wir uns wieder inspirieren von Ihren äh, tollen Ideen, von Ihren Ideen. Sie werden weiter äh, Leute inspirieren und äh, meine Kolleginnen und Kollegen äh, und ich hier in der Europäischen Kommission werden weiter alles tun, äh, um mit dem Erasmus-Programm und anderen Instrumenten einen guten Austausch Sie weiterhin dabei zu unterstützen. Vielen Dank. Danke. Grazie. Thank you, Miguel. We are all glad to hear that the European Language Label will continue in the next Erasmus program with more awards throughout all program countries and that in the next year, European Language Label will be awarded to projects that support language learning and digital tools, promote equity and active citizenship, as well as professional development of language teachers. Continuons la découverte de nos projets au-delà de l'éducation générale, le secteur de la formation professionnelle, formation universitaire et des adultes cette fois-ci. L'apprentissage de langues n'est pas moins important dans la formation professionnelle. Au contraire, pour certaines formations, les compétences linguistiques sont essentielles. Certains projets ont mis en place des raccourcis et des méthodes où la pratique est plus prononcée que la théorie. D'autres initiatives visent des personnes à capacité physique ou mentale réduite. 
D'autres encore cherchent à faire reconnaître les compétences acquises en dehors du système d'enseignement. The areas of Paris Charles de Gaulle and Paris Le Bourget are important for international projects and investments. The major challenge is to facilitate access to job opportunities. The goal of this project is to allow young adults from the area to benefit from a qualification program organized around a validation of both a professional project and language training. Digital tools have been used by some projects to put in place practical tools and platforms for online or blended learning. Dans le but de soutenir l'apprentissage tout au long de la vie, certains projets mettent en place des approches interdisciplinaires, par exemple à travers les expressions artistiques et culturelles. Les centres culturels, les musées, les libraires y jouent un rôle essentiel. L'art a toujours été utilisé comme un outil pour enseigner les langues. Certains projets vont plus loin que simplement enrichir le vocabulaire. Ils ouvrent l'esprit à la créativité et à l'expression à travers des œuvres d'art et le théâtre. When speaking about language learning and adult education, one cannot ignore the role of digital tools. Language Voices platform combines free downloadable resources with Language Voices cafes. These informal meetings facilitate access of migrants to second language studies while enabling them to integrate a community of learners and tutors. This is key in establishing a quality of life in a new country. All teachers need guidance on how to adopt a pedagogy which is inclusive and linguistically sensitive and how to manage diversity in the classroom. Access to job-related language courses for teachers of foreign origin is essential for their professional development. Teaching academies and other higher education institutions have developed courses to prepare teachers and educators for their rapidly evolving roles. Strong school partnerships are key to continuously developing and innovating the teacher's education. They provide for the exchange of good practices and allow for a certain mobility in the programs. Valdeblingin kemur uh, fyrst og fremst í gegnum tungumálið. Tungumálið er líkillinn að uh, þáttöku á vinnustaðnum og þar að leiðandi í samfélaginu. Og uh, það er ekki nóg að gera það bara með einu íslensku námskeiði uh, út í bæ. Það þarf að fá nemandan til að tala eins oft og hægt er við eins marga og hægt er eftir ákveðnum leiðum sem að við höfum verið að bjóða upp á. Ég er mjög takklát að hafa tækifæri að fara í þessi námskeið. Það voru mörg vísbendingu erlendis í rannsöknum og verkefnum að hérna starfstengt tungumála kenslu inn á vinnustaðnum var líkil af því að hefja upp fók af erlendum uppruna. Ég myndi segja að ég er búin að bæta mig mjög mikið í uh, málinu og bæði, bæði í málinu og í starfstari í leikskólanum. Mín svona einkoma er í raun að vera mentor fyrir eina sem er frá Póllandi á deildinu okkar og bara að styðja við hana og hjálpinni í gegnum það sem hún var að læra. Mér líður betur, ég er meira úrgi að tala með bæði krökkum, bæði með starfsfólk, fórnir líka. Að hafa erlenda starfsmenn er alltaf kostur og þú velur náttúrulega erlenda starfsfólki að einhverjum ástöðum því að við erum öll góð í einhverju hún kannski ekki góð í öllu og það er það sem ég er að horfa að þegar ég er að ráða inn erlenda starfsmenn eins og hérna eitt starfsmaður sem ég fór sem ég var búin að ráða inn hún er með tvöfalt leifisbyrja kennara hún er bæði grunnskólakennari og leikskólakennari og hún vann á færibandi í góu 
og hana vanta svo einhverja leið til að geta sýnt allt sem hún kann af því hún kunni það ekki á íslensku. Hún lærði það á pólsku og hana vanta það leið til að segja það á íslensku. Þannig að þetta námski hjálpaði henni alveg gífulega mikið. Mesdames et messieurs, vous avez vu un tout petit extrait de la multitude des projets réalisés au cours des sept dernières années dans le domaine de l'enseignement et l'apprentissage des langues. Nous espérons que cela vous a plu. Les projets mis en avant ont été nominés par les organisations nationales qui ont géré le programme Erasmus+, ou le concours pour le label européen des langues. Ils ont déjà reçu leur prix, mais je pense que vous êtes d'accord avec moi qu'ils méritent encore d'être valorisés pour leur travail remarquable. Nous remercions chaleureusement tous ceux qui ont contribué à ce kaléidoscope de joie à apprendre les langues et cet hommage à la diversité linguistique en Europe. Merci. Kosonom. Dekui. Tak. Danke. Thank you. Gracias. Tana. Kitos. Gugref macha guif. Hvala. Grazie. Asio. Valdies. Grazie. Thank you. Dekuje. Obrigada. Molto mesk. Dekuje. Hvala. Kosonom. Dekuje. Tak. Danke. Thank you. Gracias. Tana. Kitos. Gugref macha guif. Hvala. Grazie. Asio. Valdies. Grazie. Danke. Dekuje. Obrigada.